may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Now today I messed some things up when I was going over the things I was talking about in the judgment video. But we're going to discuss that. I didn't get a lot of the stuff that Shelly sent me because I found I couldn't read it because I didn't have my glasses. Another thing, I had a migraine headache and my shoulder's been killing me all day. So what we was talking about, she had, God had led Shelly to Samuel yesterday and talking about this. And then God gives me what he gave me about judgment coming upon the world. Now, Iran's making some very bold threats right now. But listen, I'm going to go back over everything Hal Turner had today. Because now I know exactly how bad this is going to be by what with God warning me like he does, like he did today. Because normally he don't warn me like that about an event. He just doesn't. So something significant comes from this that it's really bad. It's good for us, but bad for the world. Now, this is where Shelley was in. It says, And the Lord said to Samuel, Heed the voice of the people and all that they say to you, for they have not uh, they have not rejected you, they have rejected me. That's what's happening today. So God leads her to this yesterday, and then he leads me to what he gave me today through my dream. And I should not reign over them, and uh, according to all the works which they have done, since the day that I brought them out of Egypt, uh, even though this day which we have forsaken me and served, for they served other gods, so they are doing to you also. So that's basically what's happening today. People worship basketball stars, celebrities, everybody, politicians, everybody but the real person. In my dream, that's represented by all the kings that I saw up on the second floor of this place looking for this king. And everybody wasn't finding what they was looking for, so they was going back down the steps. But there was only a few going up to find the true king. That's why God was showing me. And he was he's what he was trying to come what was coming across and what I heard was I am the only king. And I knew his wrath was coming. Now while the world sits pretty and thinks that everything's fine and people mock us and everything. God is confirming to many people that the world's about to be judged and you have not seen anything like what's about to come. He's done. That's what he was confirming with us, that he's done. And we've told you it was coming for a while, and now it is. Let's see what else. So she was in the book of Samuels, which is, that's what, like I said, that's what we was talking about. Now, y'all heard about the rabbi today that also got stabbed. And God told him two weeks beforehand that he was going to be stabbed, basically. And it happened. It says here, this is something else that she was in. They have prepared not for the steps my soul uh, boweth down. They have dug a pit before me into the midst of themselves have fallen. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart steadfast. I will sing and give praise. Awake my glory. Awake, loot the heart. I will waken the dawn. I will praise the Lord among the people. I will sing to you among the nations for the mercy reached unto the heavens and the truth unto the clouds. Now, the reason she sent me that, that's what she got yesterday. That's the rapture of the church, that we meet him in the clouds. When I went up to the second floor of this place to find the king, the floor was made out of pillows, huge pillows. And I'm like, what, what does that mean? But it's the clouds, pillows almost like clouds. And they had the color of the clouds. So I was up in the second heaven. That's what it was. And God was not there yet. And Jesus had not come down to the second heaven. He was still in the third heaven. 
But everybody else down here was going up to the second heaven to see and try to find him, but they was finding everybody but him. They were serving all these different gods and all these different people, just like Israel is today. They're serving everybody but Jesus. And that's why you're seeing what's happening come to pass, okay? <clears throat> so he's confirming to us that there's going to be judgment. Now, here's, here's where it gets interesting. So we're going to go through these news stories. For God to warn me about the 18th usually doesn't give me something about that many days beforehand. I mean, that little bit of days beforehand. So whatever's going to happen in the next couple of days is pretty crucial to the rapture of the church. That's what he was confirming through me. He gave me the 18th, and then he said, you know, then there was the three, which also was the double meaning, which meant the three heifers that are left. That's getting ready to be done. He's confirming that by telling me about my mom seeing the doctor, which was a cowboy, which represents Texas. And that's where the three, I said, I can't stay because I'm having three tests. That represents the three heifers and the three days leading up to the 18th. So it had double meaning. And I wasn't the only one getting this stuff. There was other people that got judgment dreams the day before. They're all starting to flow in now like crazy. So he's not just talking to me. That's why I told you, go to a quiet place and talk to the Lord, and he'll give you the information you need. Don't listen to us. Go to him. He's confirming it through many people. Even Cindy sent me one about uh, one just, just now, literally. Her name's Heather. She's doing the same thing. So we're all getting the same message that whatever's about to happen with between Iran and Israel brings on judgment to the world. And that doesn't surprise me. We knew it was coming. But he was just confirming to me to let me know the red heifers have not been sacrificed and they're about to be sacrificed. And judgment is coming to the world. Now it says here, bluff or something else. Now let's really pay attention to what we're reading in the news articles. Because something really bad is about to come down the pike. So now God's warned us about this days ahead of time. So we got to really go and dive into this story, all the news that came out today, and put that in perspective of what God's warned us about. And I think I found it. It says, bluff or something else, Iran will hit Israel with a top secret weapon if it attacks. So God's warning us three days ahead of time that something bad's coming. Iran's saying if Israel is, and we already know they are, going to hit them again with a top secret weapon that they have, then Iran's going to turn around. We all know that that's a nuclear weapon. Now, this is what they're going to use. But Iran won't get it off because God is going to stop them. As I said, this is his judgment on the world. Iran is about to find out the hard way that there's one God and their God ain't it. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. They're about to find out the one true God is the God of the Jews. And they're about to find that out. What is coming is it's going to scare the world to death. That's what's coming. The world thinks there's no God, but they're about to find out that God that sits on the throne is the king of all Jews. They're about to find that out. That's why all these, a lot of these channels on YouTube, a lot of them hate the Jews. A lot of the news, news that we get hate the Jews. But I'm telling you, they're about to get a whipping like they never have. I'm telling you, it's coming. He's already told me it's on its way. It's coming. Judgment. These people have escaped judgment so many times, but this time they don't get away with it. This is the time it comes. It says here, a very strange statement was made by the chairman of the National Security Committee in the Iranian parliament. Now, see, God knows what they have. He knows. That's why he's warning us. As he stated, Iran is ready to use a weapon they've never used before if Israel decides to retaliate, which we already know they're going to. Does he mean a surprise uh, supersonic weapon or something much more serious? Has Iran acquired a new weapon system from Russia and China? No, they was given, it was given unto them. There's a reason why Gog and Magog's story was so improbable in, uh, uh, in the Bible. We know Russia plays a major role. We also know World War III comes about by Russia with what's happening in Ukraine. So Russia is not the good guy. So with all this knowledge that we know about the Gog and Magog and it's Putin that comes down, and attacks Israel at a certain time. It's all starting to shape up as that. That's why God's warned us beforehand. He obviously means there's something to potentially directly hit uh, Israel's soil. For this part, Iran's foreign minister warned Israel and the West, saying, 
I, I reiterate that we do not seek to increase tensions in the region. Well, they already did that, and that was a bait. They used that as bait to get Israel to do this so they could use the weapon. Don't, don't, these people are work for Lucifer. They did this to bait Israel, and God already knew that they was going to use it to bait Israel, and God was going to let it happen. Why he was showing me all these different kings. The Jews are serving all these different kings instead of going to Jesus. Okay? The whole world's doing it, and the whole world's about to be punished beyond anything we could imagine. Says Iran's deputy foreign minister, Al uh, Bajeri, said that Israel's regime must know that in case of a missile, another mistake, it will not have 12 days, and the answer will be given in seconds and not days. And that's a nuclear weapon. Says four flying tankers took off. Four flying tankers have taken off. According to the information, three flying tankers from the USAF and one from Britain took off a few hours ago to support CENTCOM operations or Israel as necessary. Now, I'll tell you this. In the last couple of days, we've seen a broader type of of our special, I think they're P-8 Poseidons. They're looking for something off the shore of the East Coast. They've been doing this a lot. Also, in Central, in the Central Ocean right there on the other side of Florida, uh, they've been looking through these areas looking for something. Now, either they might be talking to our subs or they're looking for some other subs. If you're going to attack Iran from different axes and waves, it will need a lot of flying tankers. KS-134 Strata, uh, strata tanker uh, is the Prince Sutton over Saudi Arabia. Gives you a list of all the tankers over there. According to the Pentagon, additional U.S. military assets have, were moved to the Middle East prior to the attack uh, from Iran on Israel. So they've got the flying tankers over there. It says Iran is on high alert. The headquarters of Iran issued restrictions on international flights of Western and Northwestern, Southern Western Iran, and others declared about three, which are three, uh, alert three, which is the highest alert level, according to the Iran users. GPS malfunctions and uh, malfunctions in in the west of the country, so they're blocking GPS because most of these bombs are GPS guided. Iran's air force has canceled its annual air parade. Scheduled for Wednesday the 17th over apparent concerns of an Israel attack. Will Israel hit Iran's nuclear facilities? Guarantee it. it. Says if Israel's responds, it will be done the same parameters targeting military installations, not against population nor against economic targets. It says to control the risk of escalation, Israelis would have to settle for strikes against conventional military targets against their bases from which rockets were launched against facilities that manufacture drones, according to the this, uh, one of these advisors. After all, the Iran attack appears to have calculated to avoid or cause large number of casualties on Israel's side. No, this, these people don't understand what Lucifer's doing. See, they, this is what's killing me right now. This is Lucifer, and people don't see it because they don't believe in the devil. So they don't realize what he's doing. It's very obvious. He wanted to bait Israel, which God already knew he was going to bait Israel to get, because Iran wants to use this new weapon. And we all know what it is because they had three days. They had enough nuclear material to put together a bomb. They've been talking about it for two weeks. It's not something that's surprising. They've built a nuclear bomb. They've got one. We already got the Remember, America leaked that intelligence over a week ago that they have enough. They kept saying it over and over and over. Remember? Well, they have enough material to make a nuclear bomb, they, and they said it over and over. They always tell you what they're going to do before they do it. Now, it always is the same case, but this time, they're underestimating God. That's why he told me about this stuff, and he started telling everybody else, God knows I'm aware what they're doing. These people have escaped judgment over and over and over again, but I'm here to tell you, it's coming for them, and it's going to be sudden, but God's not fooling around anymore. Now, he's been quiet for a long time, but he's about to not be quiet anymore. That's why he was warning us about these events. These events that we're talking about right now are so severely bad that this is what brings the rapture of the church. This right here. That's why God was warning us. He didn't. Now, we all know that between Ukraine, Russia, and America, that gets bad in World War III. We already know because God's already showed us that. Showed us years in advance. But this event brings the rapture of the church. 
because the restrainer is going to be removed very soon for all this to happen. What we're seeing, this, what God was confirming is this is Jacob's trouble coming. This is the tribulation. That's why he told so many people, the judge, the real judge is coming. We will leave and that's the sudden destruction. We're going to be gone. We're going to vanish very soon. The world's going to be stunned because they don't believe in God. So they're going to be stunned beyond belief. All the kids are gone. People, mothers are going to lose all their children. They're all going to be gone. They're going to be raptured. The world is not going to understand. Because we live in a world that is literally all about themselves. They worship themselves. Just like Jesus said they would in the last days. That's what we're seeing today. People go on to Facebook and YouTube and all these places. These people worship themselves. They're lovers of their own selves and their wealth and everything else. And that's what you're seeing today. That's what you're seeing. But God is telling us he's coming to judge these people. And we better be on that ark before we get there. I'm not talking to the Christians. He's talking to those who are lost. They're just kind of tiptoeing around it. They're like, well, you know, I'll give my life to the Lord next week. You're out of time. We're picking up scragglers now. Get on that boat before it's too late. Let me tell you something. God ain't playing around. Judgment's coming. He stressed that with many people in the last couple of days. If he's telling us about these events that are coming, he's about to lay the hammer down. You don't want to be here when he lays the hammer down. He's tired of these people. He's done. He's given them opportunity after opportunity. He's done. Well, I'm here to tell you right off the bat, that's what he was showing us the last couple of days. He's done. He's going to judge the earth and these powerful people that have always skated by. That's not going to happen this time. This time judgment comes. The nations will be judged. The true king people will know who he is. And many is going to be left here knowing, oh my gosh, they was right. That's what's about to happen. There's only one king. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Judgment is coming to the nations of the world. They have come against Israel over and over and over again. And God, this time, is going to stop it. Listen to me very clearly out there. Anyone that can hear it. The world has gotten away with things over and over and over again, but not this time. This time it's going to be different. God has gave the nations of this world mercy after mercy after mercy. But that ends. The choice is yours. And God has given you opportunity to repent and come back, but you all have chose to slap his face, spit in his face, and everything else, and thinking that you're just going to get away with it. Starting this week, that's going to change. God is not playing around anymore, people. He's telling everybody he's coming to judge. You'll see it with your own eyes. You'll hear it with your own ears. Be watching. God is about to show the world he still sits on the throne. And he ain't playing around this time. For it to be this bad, that means Iran does have a nuclear device and they're going to fire it at Israel. But this time the world's going to find out there truly is only one God. And his name is Jehovah. Listen to me very clearly out there, everyone around the world. There's only one God. Only one sits on the throne, and one's coming to get his bride. And he's about to lay judgment upon this world like you've never seen. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died and was buried and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. If I can make any suggestion to you right now, starting right this very moment, you hold on to Jesus' leg and you don't let go. Because let me tell you something, judgment's coming. These other religions that have done and done and bulldozed Christians over the years, that stops now. Judgment's coming. Jesus is going to come. He's going to come and get his church. And we're going to leave. And then seven years of hell upon this earth is going to come to pass. Now, he has us warning the world that judgment's coming. Now, you've got to pick a side. There's no in-between. The choice is yours. Make the right decision. Get on that boat before it's too late.
because one day soon the door will close to the ark and you will be left in a world that is pure hell because the ones that would truly never listen never obey never accept Jesus they're going to go through seven years of the worst hell they could ever imagine. Don't be one of them. I mean, with all the mercy, even after all of what's going on, God is telling us, he's give, given more people mercy by us letting us warn you that it's coming. He, don't have, he didn't have to do that. He did not have to warn any of us that all this is about to come to pass. Did not. He did that out of mercy because he loves you. He wants you to know when this happens, it was him. Now you know. People, if you're not right with the Lord, do it now. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.